everyone. So we've reached four hundred dollars, and I'm going to be dyeing my lab coat. Um, I put my gloves on because this stuff is potent. So yeah, I've got my hot water here, and I've already prepped six liters of water with ten tablespoons of salt, which is crazy, and it's all warm water. So here we go. I'm probably going to have to go grab some secateurs or something to cut this open, but I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so let's add the dye. I'm doing this in my laundry so that you don't wreck everything. Um, it's a very nice colour. I just saw out the instructions. Lucky I read them. So I just need to add this into the water and stir it well. But I'm going to do that after I've pre wet my lab coat because that is for best results. You keep it, make it damp so that makes sure that there's no like unwanted bubbles and the color is more even. I'm saying this like I know what I'm doing, but I've watched one YouTube talk for tutorial on it. So. I'm doing this over a stainless steel sink, so don't worry. Cut up. What's wrong? I'm so sad. He's helping me. So let me know why they need salt. Like, I don't understand why they would need the salt, but it's got something to do with the binding, I think. I think. I say this like I'm not a science student and I should know what I'm doing, but anyway. So you can even sort of see, oh, this is nice. You can sort of see the color on the spoon. And we're just gonna get our lab coat. fully immerse it and let's hope that it actually takes. Well, it's sort of going pink. I hope it works. <laughs> and then we're going to keep doing this for another 45 minutes so hooray. <laughs> Okay, so it's just sitting there having a rest. Um, I've been going at this for about an hour now. It's quite light when I pick it up. So I think I might, I don't know yet, if, see how it looks dry, but then I might go back in and see um, if I can do another round with maybe a darker dye or something. Um, it's still a very pretty color though. It's like a very light pink, but it's definitely like, you can tell that it's pink, so like icing. So we'll see how this goes. And I will update you, I might leave it overnight to soak and absorb as much dye as possible. So yeah, that's where we're at now. So here's the finished product. It is a lot pinker than it looked in the bucket because I did end up going back and getting another set of dye and I just completely forgot to record it. So for raising $400 towards breast cancer research, I dyed my typical lab coat bright pink and this is the final product. Um, it was a massive hit with my classes and the university teachers actually wanted to do it themselves. So yeah, it was a huge success and um, I ended up raising $2,500 for breast cancer research. So thank you for your help. See you next time.